Kids in North Ridgeville wrapped up the first day of classes this afternoon, and for some of them, the return to school didn't just mean a new teacher, it meant a new routine. I told you last month the district was changing who was eligible for busing. Now, we know that story means a lot in that community, so News 5 anchor Damon Maloney was there again today, following through, speaking with concerned parents who still want the district to reconsider. It's the start of eighth grade for Mackenzie, who laced up this morning for what she thought was going to be a long walk to the North Ridgeville Academic Center. As you can see today, I mean, the weather's kind of sad. But instead, it turns out she was able to catch the bus across from her home. Could be good here. Yep. The family lives on Pleasant Avenue, about two miles from her school, and thought Mackenzie would be walking due to the district's bus radius changing from 1.5 miles to the state minimum of two. The district told me the bus change impacts about 365 third through eighth graders. I followed through with the family because Mackenzie's mother, Amanda Yushek, spoke to me last month, stressed over the thought of losing bus service. My husband and I only have one car currently, and he leaves at six in the morning and my neighborhood does not have sidewalks. We now know her section of Pleasant Avenue gets busing, Jim Jacobs section doesn't. He's one block down, but south of Francis, which the district has as the cutoff. It's a pain now. You know, we always relied on the buses for the past so many years. His son Noah forced to walk. Several parents I spoke to raised concerns about the lack of sidewalks, walking in bad weather, and distracted kids and drivers. How's your son feeling about it as he was kind of making the trek this morning? He's not happy. One bit. You know, he's seventh grade and, you know, it's comfort zone for them to get on the bus. We saw several school buses crisscrossing Jacob's neighborhood, frustrating to him to say the least. They always talk about Ridgeville being such a great school district and everything and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of it seems like they're sticking it to us now. In July, I asked the district's director of operations about that criticism. Some parents were saying, you know, this is punishment. The district is punishing us for not passing this bond issue. In no way is this vindictive. Is this a form of punishment? This is purely a need. We, we need space for our students. The district admits it was the result of voters rejecting a bond issue for school construction and renovation, but said they were always upfront about it. They said the savings of at least $200,000 a year frees up money for building projects and purchasing more academic trailers to address a shortage of classroom space at the elementary and high school. Families with and without busing told me today that they want leaders to reconsider their decision to reduce busing. It's not their fault. Nobody should have to suffer through this. I hope they change it. You know, a lot of more people are moving into the city now, so it seems like they really need the busing. We follow through on stories that matter to you, and I'll be sticking with this story, bringing you updates on the bus situation from North Ridgeville as they happen. If there's a story you'd like us to look into, send us an email to tips at wews.com. Damon Maloney, News 5.